everybody. My name is Kathy, and this is my channel, Crafty Cat Stitcher. Welcome, and Happy New Year. It's January the 9th, 2019, and I just want to hold that up for a little bit. This is a past finish, um, Joyful World by Snowflower Diaries, and it's a monthly series, and it's on Facebook. If you want to go and Find the patterns, they are free, and each one is lovely. So, that's going out. I just haven't put this out yet, and I need to. So, that's happening today. Welcome to all subscribers, new, and if you've been with me for a while, and I appreciate every single one of you, um, I've noticed more subscribers lately, and um, I appreciate anybody who's giving me a shout out. Um, or a mention on their um, floss tube. So thank you very much for that. I'm going to adjust a bit. How's that? Is it? Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, let's see. This is video number 24. And um, Happy New Year. I hope everybody's New Year is off to a good start. Um, ours is uh, a little different, but we're going on. <laughs> Moxie is downstairs singing the song of her people. Um, just like normal around here. Except that I'm videoing on a Wednesday and I usually don't do that. I usually do it on a day off, but um, why not? Got some good light coming in and I thought I'd catch up. Haven't been here for a while. So um, let's see what's going on in Crafty Cat Stitcher. Did I say my my channel's Crafty Cat Stitcher or Crafty Cat? You know, I have a problem with this because my blog is called Crafty Cat. And my blog has just really been dormant lately. So just, I don't even know. I think November was the last time I updated that. So, sorry. Um, I am looking at my notes, as you can tell. Why well, I would just love to lay back, just lay back. No, I'm not going to. Um, I ended up 2018 with seven finishes. And I realized that a lot of people have a lot more finishes than that. And you're saying, ooh, wow, seven. But for me, that's pretty good. Seven is really good. So, go me. And um, whips, I ended up the year with, <clears throat> excuse me, with 15. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, something really weird happened <laughs> after I put on my last video. I lost my stitchy bug. And I know I've heard people that happening to other people. And... Uh, I don't know why. What what happened? It was just like between, that was about the second week of December, between there and the end of the year, or like Christmas. It was just almost non-existent. And I realized, you know, that is a busy time of the year and I had a lot of, lot of my mind lot going on. So I guess I'll, I'll use that as my excuse, but Boy, that was really strange because it has not happened in a long time. You know, stitchy is, stitching has always been something that I go to to kind of smooth out the rough edges. And um, it just, I, I, it wasn't happening. So I don't have a whole lot to show you in that way, but a little bit, just a little. So um, what do I need to tell you before I show you whips? Let's just get started with that. <clears throat> the last time I was with you, I showed you I'm working on Believe. And this is really the only one I worked on in most of December. And I don't have a whole lot to show for it, but, you know, a bit, a little bit more. So, um, I think it's pretty, I'm going to keep going with it. Um, I like it. And I do, I do like it. I mean, I think it's pretty here, but 
when you start looking at the combinations of the colors in real life, it's a lot prettier. So that is what I worked on. And that's really it until December 23rd. And I had joined um, or decided to join um, Nancy's birthday sal, the Addicted Sisters Nancy. Her birthday was on the 23rd or 4th, 4th, 24th. And it was a sal where we could pick whatever we wanted to stitch, I believe. I might have gotten those instructions wrong because, you know. Um, but I decided since I'm, I tr I'm trying to get out of this stitchy bug, no stitchy bug business, I decided to go ahead and um, start something that is just so pretty and different. And I'm going with this in this portion of it. So I'll show you really close. It is by UB Design. And everything on here, except for that, is in German. And the name of it is this. So if you can translate it better than the online translation, <clears throat> please tell me. Because the on online translation for this word comes out to beer heart, as in beer. Beer heart in winter? Uh, online translations, as I have heard, cannot always be trusted. Yes. And that's a story for another day. But um, I got started with it and I got a lot done, I think. I mean, considering. But look how pretty it is. I love that snow-covered tree and the star. And that's where I am. I'm stitching this on 28 count, I believe it's Joblin in the color Sandcastle. And it's not showing up as beautiful as it should be, but you can see some of the modeling in it. It's more of a beigey fabric, but it has what I think is sort of um, um, maybe like burgundy splotches, very pale burgundy splotches, which I think... It's going to work really well with this. It's, it just seems to me kind of like a, a really good Christmassy fabric. So anyway, that's what I've got so far. That's fun. So, and I, I did get out of my slump a bit. And then um, once the New Year started, I decided to move on a little bit. And I decided to pick up the most the non Christmassy thing I am stitching and it's um, Tulips Praise by Gracewood Stitches. This is not a really great picture of it, but it gives you the idea. It is a printed picture. And um, so this is just a whip from way back. I've been working on this for several years. That's how much I have done. I'm working on that bottom section. I'm doing this on um, 20 count Joblin, kind of like in an antique white. And um, I'm doing it two over one. I like it. 20 count Joblin. Nice, nice, nice. Love it. Just a little bit closer for you, but you know, I mean, I've got a lot more to go because I'm really, after I get this done, I'm only up to about here. So I've got all that. Yet. Oh, and the, there's a border. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I've got a lot more to go. But, um, you know, it's kind of fun to kind of break out the spring a little bit. And, um, but I'll be moving on from there. So, sadly... That's it. The stitching. Um, let's see. You know, I decided that I was, I, I don't really do New Year's resolutions because, I, I don't know, but I decided that I wanted to do some stitching ones and that would 
maybe improve the way I rotate my projects and, um, I don't know, maybe avoid stitching slumps. I don't know. Um, but the, I, I have five, five stitching resolutions and they're really easy and they're just something that, you know, it's going to make me think a little bit about, you know, how I can kind of, um, maybe accomplish a little bit, bit more during the year. So um, number one is take time to stitch. And you know, that sounds like a no brainer, but I tend to say, well, you know, I wanna start dinner in a half hour. I don't, I don't, want, I don't wanna stitch, half hour is not enough. Well, really it is. I mean, I, you can get a few stitches in in a half hour. So, you know, no more of those kind of excuses. It's Know, there there's time or you know or I have to leave for an appointment in 45 minutes and I don't, I don't really want to get started you know and I know it's not fun to get started and get into it and have to put everything away and stop so but that's I think that's an important one I'm always going to have a focus project that's number two always have a focus project and I think that's going to make me have a finish or two this year. <laughs> um, my focus project right now is um, Be Ye Thankful by the Cricut Collection. It's Thanksgiving piece, and, which I have not worked on, but it's going to go back into the rotation more often than any other project until I get it done. And then I'll choose another one. So I think that's a good thing to do. Number three is organize and edit. And I've already gone through my pro my charts. I will have to do a video where I show you my chart collection. And I'm gonna, sorry. I am so out of it. There. <laughs> no, I'm not really. Um, I'm gonna have to show you what the chart organization looks like. That might be a good video to do. But I've gone through them and edit means get rid of the ones you don't want anymore. And I've done that. So I'm, I think I'm doing pretty good with that. And I just have to, number four, have the attitude that it's okay to start something. And why not? I mean, I have 15 whips, but you know, why can't I have a few more than 15? Really? Number five. This is an important one. Put the phone away. When I stitch, I tend to have my phone by me. And it, you know, like every 10 minutes, it's like, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's on Facebook. Let's see what's on Instagram. Oh, I have a new email. You know, I gotta stop that. That phone's gotta be somewhere else when I'm stitching, unless it really has to be by me. So that's, that's something I'm going to start. And, um, I, there's another one, I think I want to, and I did not include this. This would, I guess this would be like number six is to kind of keep a journal of what I'm doing. And I know a lot of people keep stitching journals and what a great idea. And I have a book that I can see from here that I can use and I know I've threatened to do this before and I just haven't done it and I need to <clears throat> excuse me I'm sorry the weather has been a little weird here and I think that just makes me all ugh. <clears throat> okay now I am going to try to do something else this year and that's <clears throat> I am sorry and I'm going to try to shop my stash and I know there are other floss tubers who are going to shop their stash and I just think I'm going to concentrate on doing that this year um, <clears throat> I did a uh, last kind of like a Christmas gift to me order from 123 stitch and um, that pretty much is all of my shopping except for like one thing that I will tell you about in a little bit but um, I did order a few little things 
that I really, really liked and I've been seeing. I mean, Candy Cane Wishes by Brenda Gervais. It's, every time I saw this, it was like, I gotta stitch it. I gotta stitch that. I love that. So I got that and I also got some Celadon Green fabric to do it on. Um, I thought it would be kind of fun to do it, if possible. One over one on 25 count. Let's see. Why not? So that's one. Then I got another one. This is very Christmas oriented. Um, Sampler Claws. This is Kate. He's so cute. And those little things with him are so cute. <clears throat> Isn't that cute? I love that. I've seen that made up and uh, just adorable. Cottage Garden, the Songbirds Garden series number two. This is Merry and Bright, and I just love this. I love everything about this. This looks like it should have been on a Christmas card from when I was like a little kid, which was a long time ago. So, you know, doesn't it? It's so cute. Or maybe even before I was a little kid. Let's go with that. Merry and bright. And then, oh, Lily Violet. I don't know. I forgot who stitched this. Oh, cute. Sweet Christmas. It is so sweet. Look at it. Look. Oh, it's got little birds and sweaters. And it has something delicious in the middle. Oh, look. Isn't that cute? I'm looking at it back here. I'm just trying to figure out that's going to be big but then I'm going to tell you wait, let me look for this let me find this again you know when I was doing the, when I, before I started this I thought it was going to be like this big <laughs> it's going to be big uh, what's the stitch count I don't know it's big so anyway I get fooled by charts a lot but this one, oh, look how cute it is. It's got like little adorable birds on it and evergreen and little, mm, cute, cute, cute. Little House Needleworks. Oh, so cute. Oh, it's just simply called Snowflakes. Yes. And... This one is ties into something else that I'm going to show you in a little bit. Um, this is one of my favorite, most favorite motifs of all time. And I have a lot of these around the house. I have a, a little cement one that I have on my fireplace. I've got a little miniature one. Um, I have a, one on my keychain. <laughs> And I always called it Success Cat, and they call it Japanese Lucky Cat. Either one, but it's with the paw raised, and he's so cute. And I just ordered this, and it's Fido Stitch Studio. And it came with some fabric and some floss, which I thought I was just getting the pattern. So very happy. So I'll be stitching Japanese Lucky Cat. So... Okay, so that is not the last of it. <laughs> um, okay, so I was watching a floss tube video, and it was Deborah from Stitch the Stash, and she showed a chart, and I think it was by Whisper. Bird by the Wind, and it was called Wacky Tree Farm. As soon as I saw that, I said, that has to, I have to stitch that. That's got to be mine. I've got to do this. So cute. So I went on, I was looking everywhere for it. She said she had gotten it at 123 Stitch, went there, out of stock. So, of course, they asked me the question, do you want us to let you know when it comes in? I said, yes. And it, I, yeah. They contacted me, I think, on Sunday, last Sunday, and I said, yeah. 
so much for shopping my stash, right? It's okay. It's all right. It's, it's something that I had, if I want to get technical about it, <laughs> it's something that I had looked into before the first of the year. Okay, a um, couple other miscellaneous new things. Oh, I got the cutest little needle minder. Um, it's from Connie at Count Twice Stitch Once. Got a little nice Christmas card with this in it. And I love it. Thank you, Connie. I'm going to put this... I hope that wasn't too loud. Sorry. Um, other new things. Um, my son um, gets to travel occasionally for work. And he gets not, he goes to some pretty cool places. Like my husband travels a bit for work too, but he goes to places like, you know, like Washington, D.C. It's like, okay. But Matt gets to go to cool places like Sweden and Poland. And last year he went to um, Japan in the fall. And uh, he likes to pick up Christmas gifts, and he was in Kyoto, which he explained to me is a they it's like a they do a lot with fabrics in Kyoto. So if you know if I ever go to Japan, maybe that's the place to go. He bought brought me some really pretty things for Christmas. He brought the first thing he brought me is um it's a tanugui tanugui. I I'm sorry I might be butchering that pronunciation up, but it's a, a fabric that you can wrap things in. And they show you how to wrap, I mean, I can show you this, of course, how to wrap, how to make a book cover, how to make a case for pocket tissues, how to wrap a plastic bottle. And I don't know, I don't think I'll be, I might not be doing any of those things with this, because. Look at it. It's gorgeous. It's, I'm going to just kind of do a little scroll along here. Look at it. Isn't that pretty? Ugh. I don't think I want to wrap a plastic bottle with this. There's a little sticker on it right there. It is so pretty. So I'm thinking I, I, I have to, I want like to love to hang it up or maybe even frame it. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. I'll have to brainstorm a little bit. If you have any ideas, let me know. But I thought that was cool. He also he also got me, and I, I don't have it with me, a matcha tea set. And it's got a like a porcelain bowl and the tea and a little wooden bamboo whisk. So cute. So, he knows me pretty well because he knows I like tea. He knows I like to read. Oh, look what's on it. Japanese Lucky Cat, a.k.a. Success Cat. It's bamboo. Look. Is that not the cutest? You know, when I took this, when he had wrapped this up, and I said, this is one bookmark that you don't accidentally leave in the library book. Right? So... And um, he got me a pink cushion. Look at this. Look. Isn't that the cutest little thing? And um, maybe I, I don't know. I could not find this on Facebook if I even tried. But look, it shows how they they stitched the fabric. So the fabric is hand stitched. Isn't that pretty? So yeah, you can put a round piece in a square box and look how cool it looks. But I like it because they do show um, the person stitching it in different colors of the pin cushions. But I love it. I mean, this is just perfect. So, he did pretty good, huh? <laughs> um, let's see what else. Um, 
I did have a, another finish that I never showed on here because it was a gift for Matt and Steph, my son and daughter-in-law. And um, I will try to put a picture of it right here. And if that didn't work, it'll be right at the end. I'm also going to include a picture of our um, 1967 Ford truck that we displayed on the, our Night of Lights in our subdivision. We, our, we did a, it was a great charity event in um, December. And I don't know how many thousands of cars drove through our subdivision. We have, a, I live in kind of a big neighborhood and um uh but they started the date really in the days before the event but that night it was like bumper to bumper cars for like three and a half hours and then every night until probably about two days three days after christmas we had people coming through so it was really nice but i'm also going to try to put a picture right here of our truck And again, if I didn't put it right there, I will um, put it at the end. Um, talk a little bit more about Shop Your Stash. Um, my plan for that is to not buy charts. I, you know, I have a lot of charts. I have, I mean, accumulated over the years. I've been stitching a really long time and I realize that most of my purchases have been like in the last probably five years. And, um, but I don't really need to do that. I need to just go in there and pick up the ones I like and do. Um, I do have a bit of fabric. I'm thinking that's one of the things if I have to buy, or of course, floss. Floss is the easiest one. It's like, that's kind of a no-brainer. If I do need a floss, I'll buy it. But... Um, I don't, I'm trying to resist, not, you know, just resist buying charts for the moment. Maybe um, around my birthday for a birthday present for myself or, you know, any kind of unusual circumstance, I think um, would probably be okay. But um, for the most part, I am going to totally resist buying charts. So we'll see that, how that goes. I have a good support group for that. And we're trying to really help each other to do just that. But that's my plan. People, are in you know, friends who are doing this are doing it a little differently. And that's fine. There's no rules. I don't want there to be rules with this. I just want to um, just kind of, you know, make my own rules and just do it like that. So I think what I'm going to do is go through my charts and find maybe, maybe a dozen that I would like to start um, during the year. And keep up my, my stitching resolutions and just go with that and see how it goes. And um, I, I really think that's where I'm headed next is to keep with my, my rotation journal, make, you know, do a little bit of record keeping and um, maybe do a whip parade. I think that will help. Um, help me to keep maybe a little bit organized, do a little whip parade on here. 15 won't take that long, you know, it's, it won't be too bad. So, um, other things coming up in the year, I'd like to do a craft room tour. I'd like to do a little bit of an organiz organization tour if I can stay organized. And, um, that's probably my main goal, but, um, I am just glad I could be here today. Thank you for watching. Thank you always for watching and, and commenting. Oh, also floss tube viewing. I have not really kept up well. I'm, I feel like I'm just kind of catching up a little bit now. So if I am a normal viewer or commenter on your floss tube channel and I have not commented, it's not because I don't like you anymore. It's because I just, I just have gotten behind 
fine with it. So I'm going to look at my notes really quick to see if there's anything else. I've been waving this around through this whole thing. I hope that this has not been a really obnoxious video. I mean, what with the cat meowing and me clearing my throat and I don't know. <sighs> okay. Um, so that's what it is. And now I would like to tell you to go and have a good few weeks. I'll try to be back in about three. Um, get some good stitching in and have a good new year. Have a good start to your new year. So I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Tune back in when you see another video on and comment and like. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.